If you know what app linked is, then well, I got great news for you, because the app just got even better. Recently, they have released a new version of the app with improved user interface and quite a lot of new features. So today I will show you how to get the newest version of app linked to your Fire Stick or Android TV, and of course, how to use it to jailbreak your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store or Google Play Store, depending on what device you are using. To do so, we need to go to search on your device and here in the search bar, start typing the loader. As you can see, there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app because the loader already popped out right here. So we click on the loader and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after we get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings and well, let's do it right now. So we gotta click on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down from here and open My Fire TV. So click on it. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast. So let's do it. Now, as you can see for me, at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only apps which are available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, Let's say I will connect to Canada right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So go back to the list of apps on your device, open up the loader, wait until it loads. And here, it's really important. On the left side menu, you have to click on Home and not on Browser. So make sure to click on Home. And here in that search bar, we need to enter a link, which is going to be applinked.store. So let's enter it together. So it's applinked. Dot store. So you can see the whole link on the screen right now. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Cause obviously if you make a mistake, the link is not going to work for you. Then we click on go and in a couple of moments, the website is going to open up for us. And now what I would recommend you to do is to subscribe my channel for more content on the Fire Sticks and of course click on the like button below the video. This way we will be able to bring you even more great content on Fire Sticks. Then the next step is to click on download app link right here in the right upper corner and wait until the app starts unloading. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. As you can see, in my case it was really fast. Then we have to click on install and wait until the app is installed to our device. 
Then do not click on Open yet, instead press on Done, cause here we have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't really need it anymore on our device, so click on Delete, and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files, and also save some space on your Fire Stick, and well, that's really important, cause you don't have too much of free space on your device anyway. Now what we have to do is go back to the settings once again, so click on that gear icon, scroll down, go to My Fire TV. Here we have to once again open Developer Options, go to Install Unknown Apps, from here locate App Link and turn the option on, so this way we are allowing App Link to download other applications to our device. And basically that's exactly why we got App Link in the first place. So now, finally, Let's go to the list of apps on your device, there it is. Don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Once again, if you don't have a VPN yet, you can use the link below the video to get 3 months of service totally for free. Then we scroll down, here we can see app link, which just downloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with 3 horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on move to front. This way app linked is always going to be at the very top of your application list, therefore it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Then feel free to open app linked. And here we can see an announcement that we are using a new version. So basically the app received a newer user interface, therefore it looks better and it's easier to use. There will be advanced filters and sorting, therefore you'll be able to search with new filtering and find what you need easier and faster. There's also an advanced app categorization, which will help you to discover apps more easily and with better organized categories. And there was also some quality control made with removing the not working applications from the app link. And also it seems that some ads might appear now in app link to help developers monetize their application. So let's click on OK and let's take a look. So the app definitely looks different right now, and it's way easier to use. Here you'll be able to add codes or add stores, for example the ones that I told you about in the previous videos. There's also a button to take a look at all the saved stores previously, and of course the public stores. But then if you scroll down you'll find different app categories, such as live streaming, movies and TV shows, games, sports, utilities, and verified apps. So let's for example open live streaming, here I had to blur out my screen because YouTube does not allow me to show you the actual applications available inside that app, but it seems that categories work pretty well, and we are able to find a bunch of live streaming applications right here, quite a lot of decent ones. Okay, let's go back and take a look at movies and TV shows. Once again, had to blur the screen, in your case of course it's not going to be blurry, and yeah, this one also works well. And I can see here quite a lot of really popular movie applications. And okay, lastly, let's take a look at verified apps. So what does a verified app mean? It means that the link leading to a download page is authentic and was posted by original and verified developers of those apps. It means you are getting that app straight from developers and it should be safe. Right now there are not too many applications, only three of them, but I guess the list will become bigger in the future. And pretty much that's it, that was the newest version of AppLink's application. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time, bye bye.